Uh, hi, YouTubers. So, what I've been working on for somebody is uh, something for a costume. They're going to um, have uh, LEDs sewn into a, some sort of a costume. And uh, we're going to put a um, ultrasonic pair on the chest area. Uh, so when someone hugs them, the uh, lights will fade on. So what I've done for them is use, um, with the Arduino Nano here, um, I've got this little switch so I can choose which mode I want. So um, I've got a mode here so it's just automatically sort of fading on and off fairly, fairly quick but not too quick so it's not uh, too ridiculous or anything. Um, so I think the middle switch position goes into this mode. Now the uh, ultrasonic pair um, activates the lights so when it's 50 centimeters away they're off and then it starts fading on it's brighter and brighter as it gets closer and closer and I also added a bit of code for that so that it fades on and fades off so yeah so that smooth things out a lot because the sensor is a little bit erratic but you know pretty good for the most part so so essentially the um the value that the LEDs are getting for their for their brightness is uh, is kind of chasing the the value um, coming in from the ultrasonic pair. Um, and yeah, the other mode is uh, fading on and off manually with a button that'll be connected to these wires. So push the buttons together and it fades on. Push the button again, it fades off. And we can just keep switching through the different modes. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. It took uh, a few hours. <sighs> to be honest, most of the time, most yeah, it was probably a large portion of the time was uh, finding errors in my code. Um, you know, that's pretty normal, I guess, unless you're well practiced. Uh, and a lot of the time was just soldering up the little wires. Um, I guess I'll, I'll now go into a little bit more detail, so if you're really interested, keep watching. Um, I've got a... Ah, oh, I should have, should have looked at the number for this, but I'll write it in the comments. There's a TO... Uh, 202... Is it 220? Whatever one of these uh, MOSFETs. That's an end channel, so we've got a negative from the battery going in one side, and negative to the LED on the other side, and a positive uh, data from the... Um, Arduino Nano, and that's uh, pulse width modulation. Um, uh, was it zero to two hundred and fifty-five range integers? That is so. Yeah, there's quite a few. That's pretty smooth. You know what I mean? Um, you know what I mean? What else? Oh, the ultrasonic pair. I just got that from JCar for eight bucks. So and that turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I've got 2K pull down resistors on all my data pins, uh, except for the ultrasonic pair. I'm assuming that had one already, but no one said to use one, it just hooks straight in. Uh, yeah, so expanding on that, basically, I've got a common positive coming in to the middle of the switch, and then um, these go, yeah, the, the two sides of the switch go to two data pins, a three position switch, the middle position doesn't connect a wire at all. Um, and then yeah, I've got neg uh, I've got a two K resistors coming off the outputs from that to the negative, and also got a two K resistor coming off the input on this to the negative, and the other wire is positive, uh, five volts. That yeah, that comes out of the uh, five volt regulator on the Arduino Nano. Um, yeah, pretty simple really. Uh, so yeah, it'll be an interesting, uh, interesting dress-up costume for this guy that wanted this made. I think it uh, be a pretty cool surprise for everyone that's there, and hopefully gets lots of hugs activating the LEDs. Uh, yeah, if you got any questions, just chuck a comment, and I shall reply. Peace.